So we're gonna try to come back with a different strain of Rona. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Jess from Jess Inside. Thanks so much for watching. As you know, some of you know, especially if you're on my Instagram, if you're not on that, don't forget to follow me at Jess Insight um, for anything that's going on um, with my life in the moment. Um, but we're starting our countdown to my Tulum trip and I am super, super pumped about it. I'm gonna film a, um, you know, vacation get ready with me. So definitely watch that if it's not up already. But um, if it's not up, it's coming soon. Trust me, it's gonna come after this. Uh, but regardless, I wanted to start off this Tulum series kind of based on kind of 12 essentials that I'm gonna be taking with me on my trip. These are things that either I know that I need myself or two, um, you know, things that I've heard that you would need when in Tulum. So, so obviously the first thing that I'm gonna bring uh, on the trip, just because, you know, we're still coming out of covid but also you know you definitely want to be safe i am fully vaccinated but that doesn't mean that that's a free hall pass to do whatever and be unsafe so i am going to bring my own personal ppe kit so basically um i kind of have one that i took from four seasons west palm which is looks like this i put it in conjunction with the one i have which is some wipes anti-bacterial hand wipes um some hand sanitizer as well as I do have a to-go dis disinfectant spray um, and then in the one that Four Seasons gave me I have two hand sanitizers a mask and some gloves so I am definitely um, gonna take that with me because I am gonna be as safe as possible okay okay so the next thing that I have for the trip to Tulum is basically a waterproof like universal like foam pouch basically it looks like this I haven't opened it yet but I will so basically you have this and then you take one of the lanyards you clip it on you can wear it around your neck you know if you're going in water activities things like that you want to bring your phone to take pictures just to be safe I do have that and I do have two of them one's a blackout black outline and one that is just completely clear um, I'm super excited to use that because, um, you know, just in case we do cenotes or, you know, go in water, um, you know, on a boat, things like that. I don't want my phone to fall off and die. So that's basically the biggest thing why I'm bringing this water pouch for my phone. The third thing that I'm going to be bringing on the trip, it's kind of obvious, but for some reason I tend to forget it almost every vacation um, but I'm making a point to remember it this time because it is small but also very important which is sunglasses so shades are super super important to have you don't especially when you're going to a country where you know it's gonna be a lot of outside a lot of heat a lot of uh, sun, sun rays things like that you just want to make sure that you are protecting the eyes you are looking good you are feeling great so that's why I'm gonna be making sure to be bringing shades on this trip the fourth thing that I'll be bringing is sunscreen um, if you don't know I don't know where you've been but black girl sunscreen is running the game in it let me tell you this thing when I put it on no white cast no residue girl skin is glowing and I do put it on my face as well before makeup so I want to make sure my face is protected things like that I do have other sunscreens I'll bring just because they do have a higher SPF this is only 30 um, just because we are of a melanin skin tone does not mean we cannot get sunburned I've definitely gotten sunburned I know you guys have gotten sunburned and you will feel it so make sure to protect your skin especially when you're going international going um you know to mexico things like that that humidity and that sun is a lot different than where you are i'm in florida so obviously you know there's some grain of salt to that i definitely deal with a lot of sunshine a lot but this i heard is a different thing i've never been so i'm really trying to make sure that the girl don't come back looking crusty the next thing i'm going to bring to Tulum with me is actually um these portable soap slips or these little portable soap dispensing things 
TikTok make it made it very viral. Um, but basically in Tulum, um, you know, the water obviously is not the greatest, so everything you have to you have to use your own. Um, like you have to use water bottles and stuff when you're there just because the water is not safe but um i just want to make sure in case you know i there was any soap in the area i didn't have soap or things like that i can still wash my hands um i didn't have to like rush out to go do anything so i just want to make sure that i had the access to wash my hands at any time because you never know so this with um some water pour it on there in between your hands it actually fluffs up to soap and you can wash your hands which is super super awesome so that's why i bought that because i just thought it was super important so get you some they come in like packs of like eight i have like eight of these so you'll never run out and there's a ton in one so i foresee myself having this for a couple of I foresee myself having um, this for a couple of years. So the next thing you'll need is your passport. But you know, obviously being a girl, carrying like this, like what? So get a passport holder. So I do have this one. I've gotten it, uh, I think I got it about a year, year and a half ago. Um, I just slide my passport in like this and you know, have it ready and raring to go. I'll probably also put my ID in there um, to be just, easy access and then take it out when I'm in vacation to put in my wallet but for now when like going through the airport it's super easy to just put your license in this and just you know have it out and ready to hand to the TSA agent it's super super easy so get yourself a little passport holder something to you know grab quick in and out of your bag okay so I don't know what number we're on but the next Thing that I have that's super important I know I got this when I was um, in Brazil you know back in that was a long time ago 2016 when I was in Brazil um, so I've had this for a while but it's basically an international like plug adapter like it just wherever country you're in um, you can charge so basically you know Europe you know that's the wall plug um, as well as the UK, US, Australia, things like that. So um, I just like to have like a international charger adapter just because I don't think the plugs are any different over there, but you never know. So I just like to have it um, just in case, you know, you come up with a situation you charge your phone or you need um, to plug something in and you know your standard iPhone charger for some reason does not plug in so just want to make sure that you guys are aware that you might need an adapter so the next thing that I have is my handheld fan so it is very very humid not only in Florida but I've heard really really bad in Mexico so I just want to make sure like I'm someone that gets naturally really really hot so I like to be in AC I like to do all that so just knowing how I am I don't want to be the complainer of the group things like that of like oh it's too hot so I got myself a little um rechargeable battery um handheld fan it has three speeds so this is the first one It's really really cool and it works really well I like I probably like the third setting the highest um, but it's really really cool and you can even use it when like you're doing your makeup putting on setting spray to make it dry faster you know this is just convenient okay and it's a quick tug in your bag and what I really really like is this bends too so you just stick it in your bag isn't that awesome yeah yeah it's awesome so you really can travel with this and it's just made for me the next thing i'm going to talk about is bug spray so i'm gonna bring some off with me um i don't know if i'm gonna get another brand as well i just heard bugs are bad so i just want to make sure that sis is not getting beat up by mosquitoes things like that so i that is that's done so for me so anything I can do to avoid that that will happen so I'm going to make sure to wear bug spray every day and make sure that I'm good so with the potential of going to a sonote things like that um, going to places where there's a lot of rocks grimy things um, and walking through like banks and stuff like that I just wanted to make sure I brought water shoes just in case I actually don't know if we're actually going to specifically go to a sonote but I wanted to be prepared because I feel like 
half this trip is it's kind of planned but it's kind of not so we're we're the type to like get some things that we really want to do planned and if we have time like do the rest so i just want to bring these water shoes um and protect my feet because i am not walking through um you know different um i'm not walking through sharp rocks like that so that's why i got these water shoes and they're super easy to pack as you can see it's very slim and it takes practically no space at all so get you some water shoes especially if you are planning for sure to go to a cenote and um yeah i would just recommend them highly we're getting to the end here so basically one of my favorite things especially with someone like me that does love my you know my makeup my you know putting on some you know a face a little bit i just want to make sure that my face doesn't come off my face basically so i am going to bring a uh, mini size um uh a mini size setting spray so i got the nyx matte finish and uh, a little spray like this just to carry around make sure that my face is staying how i walked out earlier um but i am going to obviously travel with a full size setting spray um just for my makeup um to go you know on the trip when i actually do it but while i'm out and about just want to have the ability to have this a little bit and then i'm sure i'm gonna blot a little as i go along so definitely setting spray for me is a huge must um and something that i need when i travel okay so the last thing for me um is basically my electronics so i am gonna be that person that's gonna bring my laptop um so i definitely <laughs> Hope nothing happens to it so um i definitely am gonna bring my laptop i still am iffy about it i might come back in and edit I, i'm not too sure yet so i know that electronics are gonna be super super important for me to bring so obviously i'm gonna bring you guys i'm gonna bring my camera i'm gonna bring my phone um so i'm definitely gonna have those things but um i'm still on the fence about my laptop whether i want to risk bringing that there but otherwise you know you definitely want to have the electronics that you'll need uh, plugs cables um chargers you know um earphones bluetooth speakers things like that is super important um you know how else are you gonna have fun if you can't have music um also how else are you going to be charged letting you guys in on what's going on so i definitely think having my electronics is super important and having them charged with backup um, batteries so I definitely will have all of those and that's going to be super super important to bring so keep that in mind um, and make sure that you pack them in a safe spot um, keep them on your carry-on and you should be good to go so all right guys um, that's all I have for some of the things I'm going to be bringing to Tulum I appreciate you guys watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye guys